four Ds in any generative AI project journey. For example, I want to kickstart with a generative AI project. So first, I want to discover the problem statement. So I want to identify, so the pain areas in the business and for that particular pain areas, so like whether we can apply generative AI or not. For example, out of the pain areas, there are like 10 prioritized pain areas and we want to check, so which is the higher priority and which is having a less complexity as well as more value. We want to identify it based on the value we are able to add it with the generative AI project. And again, in order to implement that, what gonna be the costing to build that particular AI solution or that Gen AI solution is important. Once we came to one finalization, hey, this XYZ is the right project we want to go with, then we try to look for data sources. So from where we want to ingest the data. So where exactly we want to store the data. So like uh, how, what type of data cleaning or preparation we want to do it. What type of data we have it. So based on that, we are selecting the right algorithmic approach we want to select it. So this pipeline building is actually done by data engineers in the organization or sometimes, so if the guy is very skilled at uh, AI or Gen AI, so we will be using that AI guy to develop this kind of data pipelines. And then we start developing generative AI solutions. So we develop a model or either we develop a model or we try to use transfer learning. So if I want to develop generative AI model, so like that is a expensive based approach. So no, I want to just uh, take the models from OpenAI or I want to take it from Google or I want to take it from God or any of these models, I will be going with that API and how much, so 1 million token price going to happen for output and input. We calculate all this and we try to decide to go with transfer learning or to develop a model. And not only that, so whichever the approach we are going with, developing a model or using existing models, does it really suit our automation? Does it really suit our business problem? We want to evaluate it. We test it and everything is doing well, then we document it. And after documenting, we get approvals from clients or stakeholders, and then we try to deploy it or we call it as, so there is a testing deployment and then we productionize it. So everything is working well in the deployment, then we productionize it. Again, there we will be using MLOps pipeline or LLM ops pipeline based on the requirement. And again, while we are building any AI solution, you need to follow principles of AI project. Example, accountability, transparency, and all that. And every AI or Gen AI project need to contain value.